there Addy friends I'm back today with another video this video I've actually promised for a little while and yeah I just haven't had a chance to get around to it um, I'm gonna show you how I'm I've switched from this planner which I have done some YouTube videos on to my um, bullet journal and so if you remember, this was my, I was using this as my planner. I've handmade all the inserts. Well, I've, I brought the, um, the inserts online on Etsy and I've printed them out and I've made my little, um, signatures and I was using this as my planner from the beginning of the year. Um, I've since, it wasn't working for me. Um, I found like, I was spending too much time thinking about how I'm going to decorate it and that's not what planning is about. It's about getting myself organized and um, I just felt like all I wanted to do was decorate it and then I was finding myself sitting around going, oh, what could I use? Could I use this, this and this? And so when I was doing like my week, um, I was spending most of the time decorating and working out what I wanted to do and I wasn't actually planning. And so it wasn't really working for me. And so I decided to switch. And I had been seeing all these awesome um, bullet journals on YouTube. And I'm, and they were just so simple. And I thought that that would be perfect for me because this is all I need. And like I've said before, um, I just had this just in my... Um, I have this shelf in my art room and it's just full of books and journals and notebooks and stuff that I pick up I picked up over the years and I haven't used and I'll just I just put them in there because I like them and um, I just happened to have one so <laughs> I didn't actually have to go and buy one I was just lucky that I had one and so I decided I was just going to give this bullet journaling a go and I am loving it um, I am finding to be honest, to start it off with, it has taken me a little while to sort of get into it. But as I'm slowly getting into it, it's a much, it's a lot quicker of a process when I'm organizing my plan for the week and all my finances and budget and all that sort of stuff. I'm finding this is, once it's been set up, it's, it's really, really starting to work for me. So I've started off, I've started this off in April this year. So we're still in April now, so I'm still working through April. But from the first week I've done to this week, I'm finding it's it's really starting to work for me. So we'll see how that goes in as we go into May. And I'm hoping this is like going to be the way I plan. And it's just nice and compact. And it's not going to be bulky because I'm not going to be adding decorations and embellishments and all that sort of stuff I'm going to keep trying to keep it really simple but still add a few little bits here and stuff like that so I'll just give you a quick run through so um this is uh I can't even say the name I don't even want to try and say it Lurch Lurch Trim 1917 so this is the um, journal that most people are using for their bullet journals, but you can use anything to start off with. I was just going to start off with a notebook, but I just happened to have this. So um, I've used um, sticker paper. This is just normal sticker paper that I brought off eBay. And I um, cut out a dandelion because I love them. And I've just stuck that on the front cover as a decoration. So... Um, yeah, so that's nothing special. That is just a cut file from the Silhouette store. So it was nothing special. It was just one that I, I had in my um, files. So we'll just go in. Um, so like I said, I'm still working through it slowly. So I haven't actually filled everything in. So I haven't filled in my name and all my details yet, but I will get to that. And then I haven't started my table of contents yet. Um, this is a big thing in the bullet journal because you use this to find where things are and it's just easier because all the pages are numbered. So I do need to start working in this and working out exactly what I want to add into the content contents. So I'm still thinking about 
that but before I get too far into the year I will work that out and so you get a couple of pages for the um, the contents and this is my key right and um, I'm not sure if it's really really working for me the key um, I've pretty much copied this from uh, Instagram um, I've been going on Instagram and finding heaps of heaps of inspiration and stuff like that because I'm really really new and I haven't really found my style yet in using this so I'm gonna start off with you know just pretty much copying other people's um, bullet journals just sort of you know parts of their bullet journals and then I'll slowly work into my own sort of a style so I'm happy with that so um, this key um, it probably isn't really working for me probably the first this first part here the task started completed an appointment is really really working for me where these ones really aren't so um, yeah so I was just sort of saying that and then I added in this down the bottom and this is really working for me very well um, so I use I use my Tombow markers these are Tombow markers I love my Tombow markers. I nearly have the whole set. I'm trying to collect the whole set. And um, I just allocated Georgia, Keenan, family stuff, photo shoots and birthdays with a colour. And as I go through the my um, bullet journal, um, I'll be like, you know, marking out where they are. And so I, I know it. And that is working for me, this, this colour coordination thing is working for me so I'm really really happy with this like I said I'm happy with this top part but this isn't really really working for me so so yeah just sort of keep that in mind if you wanted to start one I've just gone and copied someone thinking that that's going to work for me but it doesn't and I think that's sort of how you as you work through your um, bullet journal that's how you sort of start to learn what works for you and what doesn't work for you and and all of that because everybody's different so like I said, this is just starting off. So then we're going to go into my like opening spread. So everyone does a sort of a yearly calendar. So I've done the same thing here. So I've got from Jan to right through to December. And I'm loving this because I can always just flip back to it. And I can see the future. Like, do you know what I mean? I think they call it the future log. I'm not 100% sure. Everything has a name. Um, I don't know the names. I don't remember the names. I just do things that I know is going to work for me. So I'm pretty sure that's what they call this. I think they call it, yeah, I think they call it the future log or year in a year in review or something like that. And I've just done like a little title 2017. And um, yeah, so I've done that. And then I wanted to do a um, a birthday. So I had a birthday calendar, so I knew exactly what birthdays I had coming up every month in advance. And this is really, really helping me. I've been keeping on top with getting birthday cards sent out and so on and so on. Because having it like in a, a sort of a layout like this, so it's all in front of me instead of just being in my weeklies, it's really, really helping. And it's, yeah, it's I really am liking this, so... So that all lasts the whole year and as you can see I don't have many, I don't have a big family so my birthdays aren't that much but it's just good to sort of have that and I'm really, this has really been helpful. Um, the wish list, this is my um, scrapbooking wish list so or my art supply wish, li wish list. Um, I haven't actually added anything yet, I haven't filled it in but I do have a um, post-it where I have a couple of books on there that I'm wanting to buy. So I will add those in at a later date. So, and like this will work for me too, because I can always refer back to it. And I tend to forget, I f I'm a very forgetful person. And um, my plan is that I want to carry this around with me when I go out. And if I have it on me, it's going to really, really be helpful because I forget things when I go out and I'll go out and I'll come home and go, Oh, shit oops shit <laughs> I forgot that I forgot to get that I could have picked that up you know and if I have this on me 
So that will work, I hope, hopefully. <laughs> I haven't started doing that yet. And then what I've added in here is favourite quotes. I love quotes. Um, I use them in my art journaling and stuff like that. And as I find my favourite quotes or I hear it or whatever, I can jot them down in here. Um, I, I take a lot of online art classes, like a lot. And I find that I lose track on um, which ones I have, which ones I own. Um, and a lot of them are downloadable. So I have them and then I forget that I have them. And so I really want to um, do have this page here so I can jot down all my online art classes so I know exactly what I have. And um, I think this will help, but... I think I should have done it like on a two page spread so it would last me the whole year. So I think that's sort of where I've, you know, no, I've made a little bit of a mistake, but I mean, that's something I can change later on. Maybe I can add in another spread like this in another month or something. But um, that would probably be the only downfall to this is it? I don't think it's going to be big enough because I'm pretty sure I could fill this whole page up with the amount of art classes that I am um, signed up to at the moment um, that this would be pretty much full if I wrote them all down now and the previous ones that I've done over the years so that would probably be the only I sh downfall for this one I should have done it on a two page spread but yeah as you can see I'm keeping it very very simple I'm just using black um, and just little, little doodles and that's it. And that's why I want to keep it. I don't want to be sticking things into this. I'll probably use a bit of washi tape and, you know, stuff like that. But that's probably about it. So as we go here, this is the April. So this is, um, my section for the month of April. And, um, so this is just my cover page and being Easter, I drew some eggs and a little bunny. And I've just used my Tombow markers to colour all that in. So, and that was fun. And I'm finding that because I'm so new to this, I have been doing everything in grey lead first and then going over it in my, uh, what pen am I using? I'm using a, a, a Zig memory pen at the moment. I don't, I've got a whole heap of black pens, but I'm finding I'm really enjoying this because this is the, the, 01 the point 01 so it's a nice small like little tip which is really really good and I'm really enjoying using this one so and I have also been using my hang on a second. as you can see I have heaps and heaps of pens I've also using my um, 0 0.3 pen as well so and that's just that little bit thicker which is really, really nice too, if I want to sort of darken things up a bit. So I have been using that one. But as you can see, I have a lot of black pens. I have a lot. But we'll talk about that later because I, yeah. So this is April. And so we're going to start off April. I wanted to have April at a glance. So I know exactly the most important things that I have coming up in April. And I'm loving this. I love that I can refer to this and go, oh, yeah, look. You know, school's back or, you know, Anzac Day, it's a public holiday. I, I just have this here. And I, instead of having to flip through and trying to find my week, my this week's weekly spread, I just have my most important things here. So that's really working for me at the moment. And also my monthly memories, which, is, as you can see, is still in grey lead. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. It's still in grey lead because I haven't gone over it. Because like I said, I'm just not at that stage where I'm comfortable enough to go straight with pen. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to keep doing um, grey lead for now until I feel a little bit more comfortable. So that's my um, monthly memories. And I haven't sort of gone over that in the pen yet because I haven't finished my monthly memories. I've just been like adding things as I go along. But things might get rubbed out and moved and changed and stuff like that because I want to make sure I have enough room for everything. So um, that's why I haven't done that in pen. And then the next one I don't really want to show you, 
because it's a bit personal, uh, maybe I'll just... Do I have any paper? Um, here we go. There's some paper. I might just sort of do this and sort of this, like, like that. So this is my um, monthly budget. And this I love. I have worked all this out. So I've drawn like a calendar and um, I've done like a calendar spread and it's gone over the two pages. And I've down this side here, I've got like all our incomes and bills and everything. And down the bottom, I have everything that needs to be paid this month. And um, in the calendar, I've written everything that needs to be paid and when they're due. And this has been working for me this month. I am so on top of my um, finances. It's not funny. I am really, really proud that this has just worked. And um, so I really recommend um, like doing something like this because this has really, really, really worked for me. And I will be continuing it into May. Um, I, I don't know why I haven't gone over it in pen yet. I obviously haven't had time. But, um, yeah, I'll eventually go over it in pen. And it's probably better that I haven't because I'm showing online and I don't want everyone to see because it's a bit personal. So we'll just flip that over there. And so then we just go straight into um, my week one of April. This is my first spread that i done. And I really liked the idea of other bullet journal ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of gentlemen out there that do it. Um keeping a record of the weather I really liked that idea so I'm trying to keep up with it I have missed a few days because I forget but I'm really trying my best to keep up with it and I'm really enjoying keeping having a record of that to see how the weather is going and then I can pick can't speak then I can compare it to like the year before. So in 2018, I can look back at April 2017 and just compare the weather. I don't know, just interest. And um, so basically, it's just like a planner. And um, I love it. It's just really, really simple. I'm just writing my Monday, my Tuesday. I have my, I'll start with my monthly calendar up here. And then I just highlight the week that it is. And, and that just keeps me on track I know what the day is every day I know what I'm doing every day it's really simple there's no decorations like in this one here where it was just full of um you know it's just full of decorations and stickers and embellishments and it was just you know crazy um, and I think that's probably why my life was felt like it was just always crazy and running out of control and this is just so much simpler and I'm using a little bit of you know, a colour with my Tombow markers in here. And then I've got my little dot points that we spoke about with the um, back in the, the key, my dots here. And I'm using them down here. And it's just working for me because I can just have a look and I'll go, oh, look at that. Keenan's got a football game. I have a photo shoot that day and so on and so on. And it is really, really working for me. So... That's my first spread and I've just done like little a little flower up in the top. So I'm still having that little bit of decoration but it's not so in your face. Do you know what I mean? And it's not taking up hours and hours of time to try and decorate. So that was my first week. So this is second week of April and it's the same sort of thing. I changed up the way I did my um, days of the week and all of that I done banners this time and um yeah and it's just working for me I've have I kept up with the weather yeah I kept up with it except for the weekend <gasps> naughty me I didn't do the weather for the weekend but I'm you know I'm just still getting into this and it'll slowly progress into being a really I hope a really good organize organizing tool for me and to help me keep everything running smooth a bit smoother so that was my um, second week. Um, this was last week's spread. And as you can see, I missed the weather a couple of days there. But um, I'm not too phased, like I said before. But um, I've managed to keep up with things. And um, I'm having to, I'm using this to add everything in. And it's just, it's just so much cleaner. 
I don't know. I'm really, really happy with this. And I've changed up the um, how I do the days of the week again, just to add a bit of difference. And then we're on to this week. This is this week. So um, I've only just started this today. So, you know, so I've only just added in my main things for this week so far. But as the week goes on, extra things will be added in there on things I have to do and all that sort of stuff. So, um, so that's where I'm at now. And then we'll be starting in May here. So... So yeah, so that's where I'm at with this. I'll just show you at the back here. You get a little, like there's this little pocket in here. And I plan on um, like keeping like washi tape and, and things like that in the back here. But I haven't quite got that far yet. And also at the back I started doing a, um, a pen and marker test page. Because I wanted to see how all my um, pens worked and what went through the paper and what didn't. And so I had like a sample because I didn't want to just start and and yeah, and it all soak through. So I'm using this these two pages here as my pen and marker. So as I get new pens and markers and, and things like that, I'll just do little tests, write down what they are at the back here. And then, like, I have somewhere where I can um, quickly refer to um, the pens that I use. So, so yeah, so that's pretty much the bullet journal so far. And I am pretty excited with how it is working. Um, I will be changing up a couple of little things. I'll be, or not changing up, I'll be adding a couple of um, new things um, over this week. I've got plans that I want to add up add into it that's going to you know increase um my use of it and um that i've picked up uh, by watching um youtube videos and all of that it's my new obsession at the moment is the bullet journal and um i will keep you all informed if you want to see more on uh, my bullet journal if you want to see me actually do a spread in the bullet journal like i said i'm i'm a basic learner i'm just fresh brand new at doing this so I'm no expert I'll be learning along with everybody so if you wanted to join in with me and if you wanted me to do some um really really you know some videos from a beginner's perspective I can't even speak from a beginner's point of view I'm happy to do that you can work along with me and we can experiment together but um yeah just let me leave a comment down below and let me know but other than that I'll probably pop back maybe um in a, a month or so and show you where i'm at again and do a little review again and um yeah so i will see you all next time so hopefully i'll be back later in the week with a project to show you and um so yeah so bye